we are day I've no idea I have no idea where we're going so I do need to speak to Siddy and get a bit of a situation report for you lot what day are we on Sid? maybe six we are currently in Nice south of France today we're gonna drive through Nice we're going to head up into the mountains we're going to pick up the bottom section of the route napoleon and then we're going to stop halfway i think the place is called george's we've got a nice little hotel spa there spa as well well listen there was a massage at lake como and it turned out to be a jacuzzi so yeah that's, uh, that's it wasn't yeah. actually somebody massaging it was the bubbles in the pool we are leaving the hotel what is it saint paul le, le saint paul summer in Nice, lovely hotel, really nice. We got the only one with a balcony just in case I've not told you that or you've not seen the previous video. If you haven't, go and check it out because there's probably loads of videos before this one. This is day six or seven and um, we've not quite worked it out. But we're on our way to a coffee shop. Uh, Leroy is there. So we've just been for a coffee and finally we've got Leroy back in the convoy. Leroy and the other Leroy in the green hurricane. But we have finally got Leroy back in the 720, so let's see if he sticks with us and gets his foot down a bit. I've got to get, I've got to get that dad run on camera. The car's gone, the bloody car's gone. Speaking about cars going missing, and specifically Lamborghinis, let me tell you guys about today's sponsor, Car Vertical. So I already know that Carl's Lamborghini is perfect. He bought that from Lamborghini directly. However, that is more than that can be said for this Lamborghini because it looks like it's seen better days. Now with Car Vertical's brand new report, they check thousands of databases across the globe. This particular Lamborghini, it looks like it's never been recorded as stolen. There doesn't look like there's any mileage discrepancies. There's no finance outstanding against it but there is a bad mark against the damage. Looking at the photographs of this car, you can quite clearly see that actually it doesn't look that bad, but when you do look at the front, especially the front corner, it's pretty bad. It's looking like it'll probably need a new wing, new front bumper, a new bonnet, and definitely the panels on the inside and probably some radiators and hoses in there somewhere. And it looks like there's over 3 million data sources checked just for this one vehicle. Looking a little bit further down this report now, you can quite clearly see it's never been recorded as stolen. The mileage looks like it checks out. There's no weird dips or anything like that. There's definitely no finance outstanding against the car, which is good news if you've found the car that's been accident repaired and you want to make sure it's straight after that. You can also see that there's a bit more more information about the damage further down it's saying it's been damaged twice over two separate occasions in addition to that you can see exactly what spec of Lamborghini it is this gives you the engine the drivetrain there are four-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive variants so if you wanted to check that this report gives you that information quite clearly says here that it's an all-wheel drive car and if you're looking for even more information than that you can see every single bit that's changed on that car, whether it's had a title change, plate change, when it's been registered, when it was manufactured, everything. So listen, don't wait, go and get your car vertical report. It doesn't matter whether you already own a car and you wanna get some information on that. It doesn't matter if you're looking to buy a car and you're looking to get the information on that. And it doesn't matter if you're looking to give a potential buyer some peace of mind with a report that you've purchased yourself. Check out the link in the description below. Use code EVILGT and get your 10% off. No. Come on, you can reach that. Let's go! Oh no. Oh. They're like um, they like dogs out of a trap. The police there ready for us on the scooters. Ready to go. Hopefully. Hopefully we're all going to be all right. Why is the four lanes in the middle of like a town? Mark's having an absolute Western super here. Um, he's <laughs> there's just lanes everywhere. The thing is with the French, right? The French just drive wherever the French want to drive. That's how it works. We are low on fuel now, 40 kilometers on fuel, but we seem to be sort of up and out of the way in the stick. So hopefully we can find somewhere with decent fuel, sharpish. So we have managed to find this petrol station, which is in the arse end of nowhere in, uh, in France, somewhere in France, I couldn't even tell you where we are, but there's a supermarket over there. So I'm going to go and get some supplies. These boys can fill up. Callum doesn't really need to. He's got about three quarters of a tank, but you may as well while we're stopped. But there's also a jet wash. You're gonna put it through the um, the, the circular one with the with the spinny things. That's what I always use. <laughs> Fair play to Mark for the absolute dedication of wash, washing his car because usually I can never be asked. So I have got you a bag full of goodies here, mate. Legend. From the from Le, Le Supermarché. 
I think that's how it's pronounced, especially with my perfect French accent. Le jambon. So, uh, et le fromage. Le jambon et fromage uh, sandwich. Does that sound about right? Baguette. This is a route Napoleon, we've never done this before and I've got to say, this for me, because you can see so far there's plenty of uh, forgiveness in the width of the road and there's only been the odd one or two really tight corners, some of them are super nice sweeping bends like this, but I've got to say as well, the grip on this car is fucking amazing, it's obviously on, on Cup 2's as we know, but it is so good, are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> Works a fair, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. This is where this is where this lowest needs to be. So we've had to reduce the pace a little bit. It looks like at some point it was raining. You can see the water coming up off um, Cal's tyres up in front, but he is 4x4 or four-wheel drive, Quattro, whatever you want to call it, all four wheels drive the car. We definitely don't. Not only that, we're on Cup 2s, and Cup 2s, when it gets damp, don't work like Cup 2s in the dry. It gets a bit squiggly, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. So we're going to take our time. Um, I've just seen a sign, we passed a sign there. We're going to that Grenoble. Grenoble, Grenoble, whatever, and it said 261 kilometres away. It's already quarter to three in the afternoon. This has been taking ages, so we could have done without the damp road, to be fair, because we do need to get a wriggle on, don't we? <laughs> and amazingly, we managed to catch up with the rest of the guys, so we've got Cal taking pictures of his McLaren there. Look at that for a view. Look at that. That is some... Are you still here, you? Are you taking pictures of me? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you and your you McLaren. Your, you make sure you get my good side, yeah? <laughs> so for those who don't know, right, if you've not seen the previous video, um, there's Cal, a reason why. Would it be safe to say you were a rather portly individual before? Listen, I, I, I ate well, lived a lot of life, uh, didn't <laughs> well, move very much. You weren't looking after yourself, was you? No, I wasn't. But this is a new reform, so tune into my uh, fitness channel. Have you got one? Soon to come. No, it might do. Get what do you reckon? Done. Yeah. If we get a thousand likes on this video, we'll start one. Me and Ben. Yes, we'll do and, one together. Uh, we will motivate all of you I know, to yeah. get into shape and live your best lives. And uh, just for forty nine dollars a month. <laughs> <laughs> but then we do have Mysterious Martin, and Mysterious Martin, he used to look after himself, and now he looks like that. Better go a little bit. <laughs> Only with the gym, three three chances of being here. <laughs> Shocking that, mate. I want to know your car. We had the engine management light on. How is it performing today? So I have a total of perhaps two hundred and fifty horses at the moment. Right, okay. Uh, we left some of them in Monaco. <laughs> the engine management light's gone off, but it says system fault, engine system fault. Call McLaren. And I haven't called McLaren because what are they going to do? Well, that's it. From here, there's not a lot they can do. Surely. There might be a McLaren somewhere. They might give me some sort of bougie courtesy car. We never know. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. I do have one criticism of Lotus and their cars, right? There's absolutely nowhere to put your road trip suites and goodies other than in my way, down by my feet. So, Lotus, right? When you're designing your cars again, can you just make sure some sort of snack holder so unfortunately we have it on good authority that lee and lee in the green mclaren and in the green hurricane who is the number two just up there sorry if uh, we're obviously driving along but lee has just messaged the group then we've been stopped by the police they want to take the cars me and lee so obviously that's lee keeping the green hurricane by the sounds of it it's a 750 euro fine each and they're going to impound the cars for a week 
Um, they were in a 70 kilometre, um, 70 kilometre an hour limit doing 150 kilometres, apparently, allegedly. So they won't provide Lee with any evidence. They said they don't need to in France. Um, no speed gun evidence, nothing. They've just literally gone, yeah, we're having your car for a week, 750 uh, euro fine, and that's that, which is fair enough, but surely you need evidence for that, surely. But apparently not, the French police have said we don't need it. Uh, you're coming with me, so they've done a escort to the police station. But they're now getting booked in. Um, cars are in panic for a week, so... God knows what's going to happen. I have absolutely nailed this. This is a French chocolate eclair, but the cream on the inside is chocolate as well. How have I not had these in my life before? What am I saying about that? I feel like we're going to have a heartburn. <laughs> it's getting late now, to be fair. It is 25 to 6 in the afternoon. We definitely should have been in the hotel by now. But um, Martin in the M3 has gone to collect them, and so has Danny in the RS6. So hopefully between the two of them, They'll be able to get all the luggage and the, and the four people in the car. There we go, we have arrived at AEX Hotel, Restaurant and Spa. Excellent spa entrance is down there apparently, but we're gonna go and check in first. The Lees and Lees' wives are not here yet. Martin's not here because he went and helped to pick them up along with Danny and Steve in the RS6, so hopefully before this video ends, I'll see them and I'll be able to sort of give you a bit of an update to see how bad things actually are. You on the, uh, what's this here? Squidges. Very nice. It's the only thing I recovered from the vehicle. <laughs> and myself. <laughs> 150 in an 80, not too fast really. Cal does 250 in an 80, so at know, least. We've been banned for seven, uh, for six months from driving in France, which is not the end of the world. 750 euro fine, had to be paid in cash. That is dodgy, cash. that. Cash only, <laughs> right? I saw it. I don't even know if it was real, please. Anyway, so we went in and it was like, you can pay on card, so it was like, fine. So I've got no, you can't pay on card, it's a cash only. <laughs> and then we said we're keeping your car for a week. I thought you were banned from driving here. Yeah, I know, exactly. It's not banned when you want to drive it here. This is the actual police uh, police garage in France. Looks a bit dodgy to me, this. He's had a traumatic day, bless him. Look, he's hungry, you can see. And he's ga gagging for a pint. But we're gonna go and get some food now, but yeah. That was, that sounded like an awful day, mate. You look knackered. Well, if you look on the positive side, I can't possibly get done for speeding in France, again, this trip, because I'm banned, and I haven't got a car, and it's not gonna cost me any more fuel, because <laughs> I haven't got a car to put it in, ever. So, it's all good. <laughs> that is very true, fair play. Well, listen, <laughs> there you go. If you wanna find out a little bit more, maybe watch the next video, which will be day seven or eight, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please do consider liking and subscribing, or not considering, just do it, and then uh, hitting the bell. Thanks very much. I'll see you tomorrow.